Hi everyone, it's Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com and .co here in Lewis Beach, Delaware and welcome to the video on On the Sunny Side of the Street. Now, uh, if you have my book bundles or bundle, uh, this comes from Bundle One and whether you have Tyros or Genos, uh, you can take my weekly Song of the Week in Buttons class lesson. Uh, but we've already done Tyros on the sunny side of the street, so this is Genos saving a custom setting for playing on the sunny side of the street. Now we're going to do it from scratch, so we're going to be saving into OTS and getting your new file created called On the Sunny Side of the Street. And of course, you can do this for every song that you play. Now I will be making two videos a week on the music we've already done in my book bundles so that I can catch up from uh, Tyros to Genos because we just got the Genos of course so I've got to go through all 70 songs and create the OTS's on Genos so that you guys who have my book bundles uh, get all the settings. They will be available on a memory stick uh, all my custom uh, settings for songs, if you want them, uh, will alert you to that in the near future. Now, one last thing, it is always excellent to start on my Genos Tyros video lessons page. You can really start there uh, for all my YouTube videos and it tells you what order to do things, what's going on and what's new. So even though it takes you to YouTube, please visit the uh, Geno's Tyros video lessons page. A uh, lot of important things there and it'll really help you out in doing things in the right order. So let's get started on creating our custom file for on the sunny side of the street on Geno's. Okay, I went into ballroom and I chose my slow foxtrot and it's got a nice uh, intro so it's a great style for on the sunny side of the street the first thing I'm going to do is listen to Yamaha's one touch settings which is really four great right hand sounds to match slow foxtrot. Now they may not be perfect for the song you're playing, so that's why we change them. So the first one is this uh, accordion type voice, and I can hit voice to, to actually look at what it is, but I'm not going to. Number two is... Now I'm going to hit voice for that, and it's the CFX Cocktail Grand. So that's pretty nice. So I like that sound. So basically what I'm going to do is move that from OTS setting 2 to OTS setting 1. Before I do that, however, I'm going to exit out. And exit out one more time until I get to my mixer. I'm going to hit my mixer. And I always have my right one at 127 because I'm a light player. Now you can put it at your desired um, uh, volume, but that's where I really like it. And that worked on the Tyros and it will work on the Genos. So I'm going to exit out of there now that I've raised the volume. I'm going to bring my sound back up and I'm going to hit my menu button. And I'm going to go into voice edit, and I want a little more reverb, so I'm going to touch my effect uh, part of the screen here, and then hit reverb depth, and just move that up to my desired level. I'm going to put it at about 40, just for fun. Now, all I'm going to do is hit memory 2. Now, it says one touch setting data has been changed. Uh, and you want to push yes here. Yes, okay? Now, that screen comes up and you're going to want to hit, hit save here. And instead of saying slow foxtrot, which it does at the top, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to type in 
on the sunny side of the street. Now that I've typed in on the sunny side of the street, I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to exit out of there. It says the voice has been changed. Should I save? No, because I've already saved it in one touch. I don't need to save it in two places. So I'm going to hit don't save for right now. Okay. So now when I hit my style button, you see on the sunny stride side of the street is there. And of course it's on user. If I want to go back to the Yamaha styles, I can do that. I can hit ballroom and go back into that Foxtrot again. But we just created a new file for on the sunny side of the street in user. Eventually we're going to save it. I'm going to save it here in my registration 8 button once I get the tempo where I want it and which intro I want and all that kind of jazz. But that's another step. All right, now I'm going to listen to OTS setting 3. And that's a pretty good sound, but I might want that in number four instead uh, because I've got plans for this song. So on one, you know, we, we're going to have that cocktail piano that we just saved. And on three, or a two and three, I'm going to put two more sounds in there and then the final for the last part of the song in number four. So basically what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to, um, on number three, I'm going to exit out so I can see what the voices are there. And you see it's soft trumpet, warm pop horns, and smooth saxes one. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to my mixer and I'm going to look at the volume levels and... Um, the first thing I have to do is listen to it with the fourth uh, variation on uh, because I'm going to put it in number four. So I'm going to turn my OTS link off at this point and I'm going to listen to variation D with that number three setting. So that's plenty, plenty loud enough. So if I want to right now, I can just hit memory and store. However, I, I like a little more reverb on my voices. So I'm not going to go into the mixer and adjust the volumes. The volumes seem good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press my voice select black button. And that's on the right side of the Tyros. I'm going to uh, push over here a little bit so you can see it. So I touched my upper right one button. That soft trumpet comes up. I'm going to once again hit my menu, voice edit. My reverb depth is already on because I selected that earlier. Raise that up where I want it. Then I'm going to go and hit the right two button. And you can see how fast you can do this. Warm pop horns, hit menu, voice edit, reverb's already there. I'll bring that up a little bit. And you can take your time. Uh, right three, upper black button, smooth saxes, menu, voice edit, uh, reverb's already there. I'll bring that up a little bit. Let's listen to the sound. <laughs> And that's where I want it, so I'm just going to push memory for now. So it's going to say one touch setting data has been changed. Yes, I want to, I want to um, save that. So now on the sunny side of the street is highlighted, but you still have to push save here. On the sunny side of the street comes up again. Press OK. And it says on the sunny side of the street, that file already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, because I just made a change to OTS4. And that's all done now. So you do the same process on 2 and 3. If I listen to what's on their OTS3, that's that horn, 2, cocktail piano. So I can now choose another sound for 3 and, and two and do this same process because I have one 
and my number two, I made a mistake there, which is good because you can see what happens. Number two is already adjusted with my reverbs and things, so I'm going to hit memory and put that in number one. One touch setting has been changed, yes. Um, save here and on the sunny side of the street, okay. Overwrite, yes. And there we go. We're all set there. So now I can go in and change two and three to whatever desired sounds that I want. Okay, so I know I have a great organ sound programmed into my registration memories. So I'm going to hit the freeze button so it doesn't mess with the style that I'm on. And I'm going to press six, five, four, three, any one of the sounds that I want here. So let's say I want that organ. And that's nice. All right, but I'm going to do something different to show you how to do it. I'm going to hit voice and I'm going to push this is my hold it fast organ, that's in Legacy. And now I'm going to actually listen, because I'm going to store that in number two, I'm going to listen to the style on number two and check the volume level. Now right there I think that organ could come up a little, so I'm going to hit exit out. Exit out all the way to the main screen, hit mixer, and I'm already on right one. And I'm just going to bring that up to about 115, 116. And I think that's going to be plenty loud enough. And my reverb's already in there because I have that stored in number four. So I'm going to hit memory and two. One touch setting data has been changed, yes. Okay, save here. Yes, I'm being repetitive so you can really get this. On the sunny side of the street comes up, hit OK. And of course, you want to overwrite. And now, one, two, and four are done. So all you have to do is do number three now on your own. Okay, so now I'm zoomed to the other side. This is going to be your final step now. I actually did program my OTS-3 and just put a regular concert grand piano there. So I have my cocktail piano, my hold it fast organ, my concert grand piano, and those horns in number four. So now I'm going to store it. I'm going to store it here in number eight. So what I want to do is hit my sync start. I also want to turn my OTS on. And I want to go to variation A because that's where I want to start. And you can see the one one touch comes up right there. And I'm going to use intro three. So there you go. I'm all ready to just hit memory and eight. And that setting is now stored in number eight. And later on, I'm going to put it into my playlist. Now the next thing I want to tell you is, is I've programmed my favorite 10 sounds in here. And I didn't care what style was underneath of it because you can always turn the freeze button on, go to any style and just use your registration memories to change to your 10 favorite sounds or the one touch settings. So for one song, you can actually very nicely with the freeze button on, you've got 10 and 4, you got 14 sounds you can use for one song. Now I haven't filled up songs in my all of these 10 yet. When I do, I'm going to create a new bank. So if I push number one right now, and I'm going to turn off the freeze for a moment. If I push number one, you see Misty comes up there because I program Misty. Number two, all I have to do is dream. And here's a little hint, that's this week's song going to be released on Tuesday. And believe me, you're going to really, really like it. A great style uh, on both Genos and Tyros. On number three, as you can see, it still says all I have to do is dream. So I have not programmed a custom setting in there yet. 
on number four, I haven't done it there. Number five, I've programmed Tuxedo Junction. On number six, I programmed Beauty and the Beast. On number seven, I programmed Grumpy Old Men. Number eight, on the sunny side of the street. Number nine, I've got the world on a string, which was last week's song. And number ten, I've just got a classic big band in there, so I haven't created a file there, or the title of the song would come up there. So I hope you, this gives you a pretty good understanding. So at this point now, I'm just going to push number eight, and notice everything comes on. And by the way, if you adjust your tempo before you hit memory and eight, it'll remember the tempo and all there too, uh, because we do adjust tempos for songs. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm not gonna play the whole song because it's already on my Geno's Tyros video lessons page. You'll see it there on the sunny side of the street but I want to let you see how this works now. My OTS is on, and when I switch variations, my right OTS has come on for the song. So all I have to do is press number eight, and I'm ready to go uh, with um, On the Sunny Side of the Street. So there you go, that's how you customize it and you can see on the sunny side of the street is right there. And if I push that you'll see it's in my user now. And if I want to go back to Yamaha styles I just push the preset button here, find a new style for the song that I want to uh, play and do the same process. Okay, so keep in mind that every song you guys who bought your Genos from us and you got the book bundle one included in your bundle, uh, you can go back for every song. It's on our video lessons page to learn how to play the song because the video is already there on how to play it. Uh, but you can start saving your own OTS settings for every song I have on there. But eventually I'll have a stick with all 70 songs already programmed that will be available uh, once I <laughs> do the next 70 songs all over again uh, on Gino so that you have my settings if you want them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informative to you and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday uh, for all I have to do is dream and you guys are going to love the settings on this on both Genos and Tyros. So I've got settings uh, for both units on that and that'll be on the back of page one, OTS settings for Genos, OTS settings for Tyros. Have a great day. See you next week. Keep playing.